All right, you guys step into this room. Uh, the echoing screeches of this humanoid figure um, definitely are grating on the ears. Um, as it turns to face you, you can see four tongues like fighting for space inside of his mouth and bursting outwards. Uh, way longer than normal tongues. And the first words that you can hear out of his mouth are hungry. And it starts sprinting towards you. Why are they always ravenous beasts? Do you see a lot to eat in this room? Wait, no, I'm a bear. Um, uh, Athos, I guess you can start us off. Yeah, I am perfectly okay with it going last. Um, well, since I'm, I'm basically down to one option, which is shoot things a lot. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to actually just move behind, out from behind the others first, so to about here. And then I'll take out three of the Hydra Blood arrows and shoot those at it. Oh, okay. And with advantage since it hasn't gone yet. Yeah, this thing is large. It's a little slow. It doesn't have... Very thick skin, so definitely something that's easy to hit. And I tried looking at the chat log for if we I could figure out what we decided with the Hydra Blood did, and I couldn't find it, and I don't remember. Uh, we'll say. Um. It's an extra d6 damage each. Okay. That's total nine more. Uh, you lay into it, but this thing does not slow down, and it is Bagor's turn. Alright, well, I'm gonna try to, um, uh, meet it at the middle. 30 feet. Wait. I think I have 40 as a bear. Let me check. Yeah, I got 40. So, okay, I'm going to come all the way to the and I want to hold the bite. Uh, when it gets close to me. Okay. We can do that, Morgan. That's my speed again. I put myself behind uh, Athos. He's considerably shorter than you, but you can do that. <laughs> You're both leaving me alone with that thing. And I shall cast slow. Oh, okay. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Cool. Uh, 
I don't know what his bonus is, but I'll just roll a d20 first. Um, 15 save. 15 save. So right Ooh. in the zone where the bonus matters. Yep, yep, yep. Um... Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, I, th I think he he'll fail to save. So nice. he's now slowed down. Uh, uh, speed is halved. Less AC. Dex uh, can't use reaction. Minus two on Dex. Can't multi attack. Mm hmm. <laughs> I mean, this this is a pretty good. Level, 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 level. <laughs> Considering the Hydra, yeah. Alright, this thing all of a sudden goes at half speed. Uh, I can't even make it to Pagor. So, uh, it just it moves. Actually, it does have an extended range due to being a large creature. So it can make uh -oh. it here and then attack, which is unfortunate for Bagor. <laughs> but only <laughs> only this turn. I don't get to go. Damn it. And because of the way this book recommends attack rolls, he's gonna have a pretty high to hit roll. <laughs> Damn it. It's a hit bonus. Didn't really matter in that particular case. Uh, twelve points of damage to your bear form. Damn. As it's okay. uh, pretty it muscular arms lash out and knock you back a bit. Athos. All right. Um. I will keep going along the side. Is there anything in the room that would prevent or inhibit movement? In there any way? are piles of corpses all around the room. Okay. Uh, um, but not so significant that you're really going to... Especially you with your ability to cross difficult terrain easily. You're not going to have any issues. All right. Given how short I am, well, I suppose cover won't really matter against him, so never mind. <laughs> I was going to ask if I am short enough to take behind cover behind those corpses, but I don't think it'll matter. <laughs> and I should have a clear shot from here. I probably did from where I was, but just making sure. And I'll just switch back to regular arrows. Nearly occurred that one. Sorry about that. Yeah, those absolutely hit. And uh, these are normal arrows. Yeah. Oh, uh, did you do a wisdom saving throw? For the monster. Oh, at the end of, end its, of turn. its turn. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me. He will fail that as well. And huh. he gets two more arrows in him. Bagor. Well, if you want something done good, you gotta do it yourself. I'm gonna come closer. Um, okay, there, and I'm gonna hit it. Bite and claws. It is definitely way easier to hit now. Did I make it with the claws? Because yes, that's a yes. thirteen. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cool. Slow. Slow is a good. So I'm going to town. Fifteen damage. Wow. That's a nice claw. That's very close to maximum damage. Just two, two, off two points so short. 
That's 2d6 plus 5, so I got almost maximum damage. Morgan. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this thing looks like it's uh, pretty beefy. So. Yes, it does. I'm going to use, yeah, Scorch, wait, can I Scorch Ray it? Come on, it's on this. That's really feet? Yeah, perfect. Yep. So, let's see, one, two, three. Uh, because of his reduced speed, it is extremely easy to hit him and you land with all three rays fire uh this thing has a turn I should have done this in the last turn as well Um, all right, uh, so it can't help but screech and shout, um, as secrets are spilling out of its mouth. Um, huh. The first one is a secret. Um, how do I want to do this? Can somebody feed Gizmo? Um, there's a secret about someone who is beginning to feel the hunger of uh, the time warps and the time manipulations and they're thinking about or at least they have thought about eating other people but they haven't yet <laughs> and there's also a secret <laughs> about a lost planet that is about to be consumed by a star Uh, meanwhile, he is trampling over you as he continues moving. Ow! He's ignoring me? Uh, 20 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Oh, ooh, 18 points of damage. Fuck. Okay. Uh, and you can tell that uh, if he were moving full speed, he could have been able to attack you again. Crap. That's a lot. And a wisdom saving throw, which you will fail. Next up is Athos. All right. I'm going to... Keep moving along and shoot him twice. Twenty and twenty-three for twelve and eleven. All right, these arrows are starting to add up and the the bleeding coming out of his mouth is uh, definitely something that is uh, his tongues are like painting his face with blood it's gross Pagor. are you still a bear by the way 
Uh, yeah, I'm seven him hit points away from turning back. Uh, is he still on melee with me? Yes. Okay, then I'm gonna try to shake it off, even though it still hurts. And go again. Try to <laughs> stop it, at least. 12 and 14. Uh, yeah, definitely both hit. I love your slow spell. It's amazing. Oh, I think you forgot. Did you roll for the save again? I did. It you is did. your yes, turn. You I saw the five. Okay. Um. Oh. Sorry, it's swinging up on something. Um. Hmm. I will. I'm going to move up here. And I'm going to cast a uh, five volt. Pew. Wow. Pew, pew. pew, pew. <laughs> A lot of his skin is now definitely charred and burnt. Crispy. Uh, we've got... Let's see if I can. Does he count as a flammable object? <laughs> I think that he <laughs> counts as objects. Um... Going to shout another secret. Ooh. This one. Uh, let me look at that. Uh, he shouts out, she only wants to free Dendrosisal, the father of the Medusa. What? Uh, it is then, its tongues are going to reach further out of its mouth and attempt to grapple you. Oh crap. Uh you can make your choice of an athletics or acrobatics check in order to contest. I got athletics with the bear. Wait, no, that's me. Uh, yeah, no, I got <laughs> athletics with the bear. Well, now it might not matter. Crap. I got a plus eight, and I still didn't get enough. Well, I mean, like, did you see what his needed that 20 to match. Yeah, I needed the 20. Uh, oh. So you are yeah. now in his mouth being chewed. Oh, God. Oh, God. 
uh, for 8 damage, and he is going to drag you as fast as he can, which is having his speed again, so I think it only goes to, like, 5 feet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm back to work. Bad, bad thing. Bad mob mob. And, uh, and then yeah, it remains slightly <laughs> <like that. laughs> I like how these movies <laughs> just keep getting worse. <laughs> he can roll great on anything except for saving throws. So, he, I'm slowing the slow rolls even. <laughs> uh, wow. Athos, it is your turn. All right. We might want to save our bear friend. I guess, are you not a bear anymore? I'm not a bear anymore. We have to save so our friends. Friend friend friend. Now, yeah. All right. I think I got to move it to there. How much penalty would I be taking to specifically try to shoot those tongues? Ooh. Um. I'd probably say it increased AC by like five. Okay. I'll take that. Um. And would at this point would I'm trying to move more of the length connecting them, not the bit ar- actually around the gore. So I'm hopefully still not, not wouldn't be taking cover penalty on that. Okay, yeah. So even at minus five, effectively, um, I still roll stupidly well on my your your something. first hit actually severs the tongue. Oh. Uh, would you cool. like your second one to sever another tongue or to yeah. hit him in general? I said I was shooting the tongue. So okay. Yeah, I'll... you you sever two of his tongues. Uh, Bagor, you will uh, fall prone on the ground. Then all of a sudden, four more tongues erupt out of this man's mouth. Wait, uh, crap. Yeah, it's like the hydro. He has hydro tongues. And then do I supply your tongues? Half of your damage roll over. All right. God, so how? Wait, he have like six tongues now sticking out of his mouth? Uh, yeah, I think so. Well, I think it's six full tongues and two half tongues. So seven. Technically. That's how the arithmetic goes, yeah. <laughs> uh, Bagur. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna clean up the drool, just in case. You're also um, probably laying on the ground. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. Uh... If he had me grabbed, am I still close enough to attack, or do I have to move? Yes, you can attack. Okay. Um, I'm going to shake like a dog to clean up the drool. And then I'm going to try to hit it with my Spear of Dental Repose. Wait, did you say Spear of Dental Repose? Gentle. 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 Oh. No, but that's oh. a lot more funny. <laughs> uh, it would be better. <laughs> I mean, the thing clearly needs some dental work. You know what? I'm going to rename it that. Spear <laughs> of Dental Repose. <laughs> so that's a 21 for 4 slashing. Oh, right. yeah, that definitely I'm hits. gonna tell it like I have been told that drooling on people is bad. Don't do that. For some reason I think a spear would be piercing, but whatever. Probably doesn't matter. Well I mean if you slash from a spear. Uh it's probably piercing, but we just didn't fix it. It doesn't matter too much. Uh Morgan. Okay. So making sure not to hit my not bear friend. I'm going to spend six of my sorcery points to let's see. Uh give myself an extra sorry, spend five of my sorcery points to give myself an extra third uh third spell slot. I'm going to use that third spell slot to lightning bolt 
this guy in the back of his head, I'm guessing. So I'm oh, pretty sure okay. he's facing. You can do that. And because he is slow, he has disadvantage on dexterity. On dex. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying this is a wombo combo? And both of them are low, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I, I am controlling all the uh, roles in this game. Uh, you might possibly... Why don't you roll 86 for me, then? Uh, 86. Not 86, sadly. No. I am going to... I'm actually going to... Oh, yeah, can you roll, like, a handful of uh, checks to see if you're... Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, Is it uh, D20s, right? Yeah, just roll, like, four D20s, I guess. Uh, you got a bat. Oh, okay. That's a great explanation of what you wanted to roll. Uh, not yeah. yet. Not yet. But I'm going. I'm going to spend my last uh, social point to use something I've not used yet, which is empowered spell. It lets me re-roll uh, it, as many damage as I want after my charisma modifier. And my charisma modifier is four. So I'm going to be re-rolling the one, the two, and the two. Okay, yeah. you can do that, but in the future, uh, make sure to call that before you see the damage. Oh. Uh, I need to call that before I... Yeah, you're going to empower the spell before you cast it. Oh. I, I thought, like, empower comes after the cast. I do not believe so. But we can look it's up. like uh, preparing it. Spell, you can spend one to reroll any number. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, when I roll, yeah, yes, yeah, never mind. No, no, that that's wrong. Then you're uh, gonna my... pass for now. Yeah, I'll pass for now because that would be incorrect to do. Okay. Yep. Uh, but still, thirty-three <laughs> points of damage. Lightning damage. Also, it ignites flammable objects, so I'll ask once again. There are some corpses on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and for... I'm the dog uh, in that comic. This is fine. After I shoot off this lightning bolt, I yell, a uh, duck to Bogor. <laughs> so it's just a like flash of lightning goes like, right past your ear. And then you... And then, like, it's buzzing. Whoa! I mean, it's perfectly logical. Sound is slower than light. <laughs> <laughs> You're prob- probably like death in your left ear from the li- lightning and thunder. You say dark, I say what? <laughs> uh, that, I it. think uh, that's yes. probably going to be enough to kill it. Oh! <gasps> Do you kill it? Just like a giant lightning hole through his gut. If that is what you want, that is what happens. Yes. Do tongue tongue start spouting out of his gut to fill up the void? They are spasming in his face for sure. Yeah. And they're still twitching when uh, he falls to the ground. Both because it's dead and because lightning. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) There's still a bunch of static on it. Uh, so this room is completely littered with corpses. Uh, there's probably hundreds in here. Some on fire. Uh, there is a kind of moss on the inside of the walls. I'm gonna crouch next to to this thing and ask it how did it know the stuff it said I know it's dead but anyways the tongues twitch one last time <laughs> and I'm gonna look at Morgan because what it said about the world being eaten sounds like something Morgan will know about maybe 
well, what do you do? Huh. As far as I know, you come from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm not sure that's... Oh, never mind. <laughs> so I have a 10 on know knowing something, eating space. I think Planets. the line was more so about planning no. being eaten by a star. Yeah, yeah the sun was consuming a planet. Oh, okay, so I... Not go a into, creature. I go into a long lecture of how astrophysics works to Bogor. So as a, as the sun ages, it gets bigger uh -huh. and bigger, just uh -huh. like Neo. Uh huh. And when it gets really big, it starts eating up all the planets that are near it. Is that gonna happen here? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I don't consider myself an expert. I don't think that's quite right. No, no, no. He's onto something. <laughs> then after it gets really big, there's like a giant bug. And either collapses on itself and becomes, you know, really, really, really small. Or it uh, dies out really, really, really big. But if it's really, really, really big, how does it become small? It uh, compresses itself. Like if you go into a ball, like when you transform into something smaller, that's what it's, what, that's what's happening. I'm not sure. Is, this, <laughs> is the sun a druid? Is it? <laughs> I mean, like it brings life to plants, right? It's part of another Mother Nature. It is, is it the Sunday original Druid? Why does this sound so much less wrong? Huh. Than it <laughs> <laughs> okay, I learned something today. Cool. That's something the wolves won't teach you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the wolves are not teach you about the moon. They might teach more useful things, though. I don't know. Maybe like when we need a really powerful druid, or we'll look up to the sky. Um, I'm not in the sky, though. I said a really powerful druid. Oh. <laughs> Ow, that hurts. <laughs> okay. Next order of business. It Making said sure that something dead. was going to release the dad of the Medusa. I have no idea what that is. I mean, my first guess is that the Medusa wants to release the dad of Medusa. Who is the dad of Medusa? Mm. I have no idea. Medusa? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think the name was something like Dendrosol that was mentioned. Uh, but the name think... alone is fairly meaningless. Can I... I think it was busy not being needed at that time. Uh... Can I inspect the corpse to try to figure out what kind of abomination this is? Um... Yes, and I guess I'll see what I can find out while you roll. Uh, what do you want? Arcana? Investigation, nature? Investigation, I guess. Okay. Oh, also, I'm going to try to see on the wall if there are any other do doors. And I'm going to move to put out the corpses that got lit on fire, because burning flesh doesn't smell very good. <laughs> Oh, I only got nine. Uh, Athos and Bogor, why don't you also roll investigation checks? Okay. Uh, I'll hail the double net 15. 
crap. <laughs> <laughs> wow, if only we had advantage. All right, so uh, we'll start with Morgan. Uh, this corpse is a lot closer to um, like a human's corpse than you were expecting from its outward appearance. Huh. Um, there's ob obviously magical mutations, um, but there's a good chance that at some point it was some kind of humanoid. Um, Athos, when you're putting out the fires, you notice that a lot of the corpses um, they are not necessarily picked clean. Of some of them have like gold necklaces and full coin purses. Ooh. Um. Well, they obviously don't need any more. Uh, I'm not gonna like go digging on their bodies, but I will grab Ooh. any of the coin purses that are obvious and you know easy to grab. Uh, Bagur. Yep. Uh, you know where kind of where to expect some doors. Uh, so using that knowledge, you notice the one that you peeked into before. Uh, the one with the doll. Yes, you don't really see an easy way to open it from this side. Uh, and you would also see one over on the right. Actually, no. You can you can open okay. them from this side. Ooh. Okay. Um. Before I do that. I'm going to tell the guys about the doors and I'm going to do like a walk around to see if anything stands out out of the ordinary. Beyond the obvious monster and dead bodies, you mean? Yeah, beyond that. Um, I don't know, any potions or stuff like that. Um, oh, you know what? I'm actually going to look to see if any of these people has a a bow, just in case, because I don't have a lot of reach in some cases. Uh, none of these actually have weapons, but they all have various trinkets of jewelry, um pouches with coins and gemstones. And I'm gonna grab a couple of those pouches. The ones with money, not with gems. Are you going to uh, take some of these as well, Morgan? These are the gold coins. There, there's jewelry and gems and coins on a lot of the corpses in here. Uh, I'll just look for anything that could be used as uh, spell ingredients, like coins. Don't really mean much. Sure. Uh, we'll say you find a large. Diamond worth 500 gold. Okay. Uh, the rest of you 
if you are mostly searching for coin. I mean, I'll glance and try to see if any of the jewelry happens to be magical. But I'm not particularly good at identifying that to begin with, probably, and I'm not going to go digging around on the bodies, as I said. But yes, other than that, I'm mostly concerned about the coins. Uh, you find between co copper and platinum and gold and silver about 437 gold pieces. We're rich! And Bagor you find around 334. Holy crap, that's but, a and lot. There's a lot more of gems and jewelry lying around. Well... Gems and jewelry are like pretty stones to me, so I don't take any. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shiny. I'm happy with the gold because gold is money, and apparently people like that. Forty three seventy. Yeah, I got a lot got a lot of gold. Now let's Rich, not run baby. into this gold ghosts. That's true. Um What do we do about those? Hope they don't RNG spawn. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, and I assume I don't pick out happen to see any magic. uh no not in particular yeah. yeah didn't think I would but figured I'd mention Um, why don't we take like a five minute break while you guys plan your next move and I gotta put the bird away and use the restroom. Sure. Okay. Let's see. Athas, do you have the map updated? Yeah. Because mine lost the info from the previous week. All right. So right now, what is the way that we have to go uh, back? Go... We go back to the star brooms. I'll go ahead and screenshot the recently explored area. Okay. And put it in Discord. Also, do you know I'm I see something about multiclassing on the on the manual, but I don't know if that's like if you need to do something special or I think I've not done it, but I think in five E it's if you meet the prereqs. Then you can. And the prereqs are just stat prereqs. And theoretically, story prereqs, if applicable. Okay. I don't remember the rules off the top of my head. Got it. Okay. I need so. To step away for a second as well. Sure. Condolences. There's the door. The glass eyes. Okay.
Okay. On there are the vines, straight lines are normal room connections. Okay. With the non-direct stuff, it's going to get a bit more visually confusing. I'm aware. Not much I can do about that. Bamboo, wood, the ori. There's the doll. We didn't kill all of the the creatures in the bloodstained walls, right? Mm. Don't think so. We killed two of one type and one of another, I think. Or three of one type and one of another. But we didn't go particularly far left. Or west, however you want to say it. So there, I think there are more rooms so probably that we don't know, so probably more of the things. So, do we keep going east? That's my vote. Was, yeah. I mean, we're already here. Yeah. And my guess is that it will connect back to the floating floor, floating floor rooms, but... Right. I'm back. Hello. Hey. Have we come up with a plan yet? We're thinking of going east. He sounds good. <laughs> oh, also, um, I want to share half of my gold with you if you need that. Or if you'll take it. I realized that I should have calculated this. At what point can you transform into a dragon? Like level seventeen, I think. I don't remember. Is an actual level when you can become a dragon? I can start turning into flying stuff at level eight. The problem is the the faculty of the beast, the CR. Hi, What's a dragon CR? I. Oh, so that's a challenge rating. Okay. What's the challenge rating of a dragon? More than one. Which, if I'm reading this thing right, is the maximum. So we can't transform into a dragon? So there is some young dragons that have a challenge of six, some have a challenge of seven. Is you talking about for your druid wild shape? Yeah, I think yeah. I can turn yeah. into a dragon like a level 17 or something. Dragons aren't technically beasts, they're dragons. Okay, so I can't. What? 
You can, <laughs> when you're high level, you can use true polymorph to transform yourself into a lot wider varieties of things. And you can turn yourself into a dragon. Isn't true polymorph like It's permanent? like an 8th or ninth level spell. It's pretty high. Or can you transform yourself into a really big lizard? You Pretend you're a dragon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like 90% sure you can turn yourself into a dinosaur. Yes. <gasps> but um, <laughs> usually people say you have to have seen a creature and studied it to be able to transform into it. But it has to be a beast. And dinosaurs yeah. are somehow beasts. And it has to be Does that my druid level divided by three. Could could we like construct a beast? Out I of think that fiction? counts as a monstrosity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because like beasts can be magical, right? Or no? A lot of beasts are pretty much like what we as people would actually see on Earth. So almost like magical beasts, not beasts then? Yeah, there's some in other official rule books, there's like the Forgotten Realms version of an ox, which is called a roth and like animals like that, but a lot of them are pretty animally. Oh. There's a Feywild little rabbit that has a unicorn horn. <gasps> what, 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 what is the jackalope? Yeah, can, can, can you transform into a jackalope? A rabbit corn. Uh, I don't know. Let me see. What's the name of the... Thank also, you. another question for Druid Craft. When he transforms into a beast, can he can he change the age the age of the beast that he transforms into? Oh, probably. I think so, but it's not really. Here's the, like, the cute. You you animal. really don't want to be like an old bear. Everything hurts. I mean, you could always transform into a diseased giant rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't feel good, so I don't I don't do it. Technically, right now I can turn into that animal you said. Oh. It's fast, but other than that, it's not super useful because it's pretty low comment rating. But it, it has piercing damage though. Right? That is its <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for some reason, he's bludgeoning, not piercing. What? I guess it's hitting you with its paws. I guess. I think so. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Which direction you want to head from here? I think we said east. Yeah. Yeah, east. Um, I know there were worse than on either the other doors that have been opened, but I'm going to want to check this one for traps anyway. You may do so. Uh, is that perception or investigation? I don't remember. Uh, I usually do investigation. Uh, the thick moss that surrounds all the walls in this place make it uh, a little bit difficult to distinguish the door, but you make it out, um, and uh, an idea strikes you. Um, this moss would be pretty good at soundproofing, but this door does not appear to be trapped. Ooh. I approve of soundproofing. I'm gonna. I think I have. Yes, I do have two more burlap bags. I'm going to fill one with this moss, and then chuck it in the bag of holding. I'm not going to explain to the others what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I'm just going to do it. 
<laughs> Can I cast Druidcraft like stealthily? Uh, to try and scare Athas that he got cursed because of that with a spot, <laughs> like a puff of wind behind him. Uh, you can try. It'd probably be a slight of hand <laughs> check because it does require hand movements and probably. <laughs> I believe in you. You can do it. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. I'm... <sighs> Crap. I mean, I suppose I could fail. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> So you you hear Bagor whispering, and you turn, and you see his hands waving, and all of a sudden, <laughs> on the back of your head, a little burst of wind strikes you. <laughs> I'll just, you know, give him a gimlet eye for a bit, and then turn back to what I was doing. Most definitely not planning revenge. <laughs> He's looking at me weird. Oh, by the way, um, Morgan. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm handing you 167 gold. If uh, you take that. Hmm. I assume there has to be something I can use gold for magically, right? Can, can, um, can, materials, can I... I guess. I, I can do. Can I do reverse alchemy? Uh, trying to turn the gold into something else. Turn the gold into lead. <laughs> uh, probably not. Aw, that means you can't protect yourself from detect alignment. Wait, what? <laughs> you can make a lead bodysuit. Wait, do, wait, does that work? Lead I does. I don't uh, know about protect five. against what? some divination. Really? Yes. I don't know about 5e, but I know it did in previous versions and Pathfinder. So wait, is, is, is like, so it's 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 like uh, Superman's X-ray vision. I I would not Kinda. <laughs> begin to guess. <laughs> like, so there's, there's some <laughs> magical properties of lead that stops people being able to de de detect intent. That is interesting. That is that is weird. All right, how how much gold did you give me again? <laughs> I was not paying attention. Um, one sixty-seven. One sixty-seven. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, I'm ready to head east. Uh, you enter through the door, which, as it closes behind you, it's uh, pretty indistinguishable because, mostly, the room ahead of you, to the north, is not really lit. Uh, you can see, those of you with dark vision can see a bit into the room, but you can't see much further beyond that. I will move you all here. Time to continuously cast Fireball for vision. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> Who needs light when you have Fireball? Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> fireball. Uh... You can see there's a small little nook here, but the room continues uh, pretty far northward. Um, you can hear, actually, some sort of chanting coming from farther north. Actually, coming from the west, there's actually two exits to this room. This is not to scale at all. The room kind of goes further, but there's a room left and a room up. 
You hear chanting coming from the rest. We should probably send out our good sneak to find out what that chanting's about before us perfumes walk in. <laughs> yes, the ranged guy shall go first, and I will start sneaking forward. And I'll drop this sneak roll as soon as they all tap back to the right. I'm going to cast resistance before he leaves my reach. In this room, there is, uh, the room to the left, that is, uh, there is a large, oh, you said you were, did you say you were going to peek up and then peek left? Uh, I just said I, I didn't specify, I just said I was sneaking Okay, so we'll just assume you went to the chanting first, to sneak in there. Uh, you see a strange version of a massive sphinx, but around it are um, a lot of humanoid figures um, chanting, some of them bowing and laying down on the ground to it. Um, these humans are actually dressed a lot of the same way and have uh, some jewelry on them like the bodies in the room you came from. Okay. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> Do you hear what they're saying? Yes, I think the question is if I understand what they're saying. Um, I, I expect the answer is no. Because I'm not particularly well versed in ancient languages, and of course the only chant at religious stuff in ancient languages. Yeah, it's like the equivalent to Latin, I'm sure. <laughs> Magical Latin. A.K.A. Latin. <laughs> I mean, I probably don't re realize it's just pig Latin version of common or something. <laughs> it's, <pig> Latin, yes. <laughs> it's just common. They just have a very, very heavy accent. <laughs> but they're all at different places in the chant. They're not doing it at the same time, so it's just inaudible. Anyway. Oh. Uh, so, so they are like actually... those... What? Go ahead. No, it was like, uh, it's like the kids at school that are in like a play or something and singing. Everybody's at a different pace. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, like I, a small play. You probably mentioned it and I didn't notice, but is it an act of Sphinx or is it just a statue? Uh, it, it appears to be breathing. Okay. I'll check the other one. exit then. To the north is A large room. Uh, you can see immediately as you peek inside, a lot of the walls in this room are covered in a pretty similar moss as what you've seen. Uh, there is a l a bird in this room. Hmm. 
We All haven't right. been killed by birds before. Yeah. Uh, I right. will. I'll be right back. I just want to get a gl glance at the blood moon that's going on right now. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. That was today. Um, what, what do we, what do we see on this room? Like, is there like any furniture, the room that you're in stuff now like that? Is yeah, pretty bare and dark. There's not even like empty torch sconces on the wall. It's just, it's just plain. I want to go down to the floor and try to check. How long ago, like, did the last person from here come out or moved in this room to see if we have, like, maybe a little bit of time? Close to the walls, there's a bit of dust, but the kind of the center of the floor appears to be used every once in a while. Hmm. I forgot to ask, how many exits do each of those rooms have? But I've seen that. The left room has one exit all the way to the left. And the room above has an exit all the way to the top. So further east or further north? Well, if history holds, we'll get stopped. We won't be able to get past this Sphinx room anyway. OK, I'm back. Okay, but I mean, the moss is going to do something with that bird. Like Maybe it says something you don't want to hear? Maybe. Well, I took some out of the other room, so we could plug our ears with it if you wanted. That is very dirty. It's only moss. But I guess it's moist. Anyways. Um, still, I think it's a better idea to go with the bird than with the rest of the people. We're prone to making people angry. Um, can I see what kind of disposi general disposition the bird's in? Uh, it seems to be, from your perspective, pretty bird-like. Uh, kind of hopping <laughs> between, like, whatever is in the room. There's, uh, like a dead tree in the room is kind of hopping between branches and the ground. Make a make a second perception check if you could. All right. I'm a ranger. I have a specific class skill for this. Of course, I rolled well. Um, <laughs> doesn't seem like it's looking for something to attack, but it is for some reason you can't imagine. Wearing chainmail. Oh, that's different. I'll relay this to the others. Like, is it to scale, or is it to scale chainmail? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's ways? it's made Absolutely. specifically for this bird. I mean, are they regular size chain links or absolutely tiny ones? Uh, you will say they're small. Yeah. Okay.
Hmm. A chainmail bird? Can can that even fly? It's flying. Oh. Apparently. <laughs> what general type of bird is it? Uh, it is a corvid, so kind of like a crow. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I asked. Of course it is. <laughs> We're in a 14 years old emo guy fantasy, so of course it's a crow. Or the uku, or the whatever else in here. <laughs> I feel like we've encountered more corvid stuff. Is the Medusa a scene kid? Like, really? Does she like Fall Out Boy and stuff like that? She's blue. Or probably blue. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Anyways. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to stop concentrating the resistance on Athas. I'm going to cast it on myself and then I'm going to go into the room. And I'm going to see how the bird reacts. If anything, I go back. As I see him do this, I am going to get some of the moss out of the bag, out of the bag. Oh, um... This is something that it. I believe Asus probably would have noticed as well. This is not a living bird. It is a automatic bird made of gears and uh, other things. Okay. But um, as Bagor enters the room, it flies like halfway towards him and says, Why, hello there. <laughs> um hi hello um how are you i'm as good as i've ever been i suppose cool 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 um you know i'm kind of lost a little bit oh well do you I can know help. Do you know what's further down this way? Like, there's a door that way? Oh, uh, you you don't want to go in there. That's, it's the petrified prisoners of the Medusa. It's not, not a place you should be. It sounds very safe if they're petrified. Right, but it's not a place you're supposed to be. Do I have to get a permission like I did for the library? Uh, maybe if you could find... I don't know who would be able to give you permission to go in there other than the Medusa herself, and she doesn't really go anywhere, so... I, I'm afraid you just can't go that way. Okay. Um, question. Um, like two rooms over, there's like a sphinx and a lot of guys. You know them? Like, do you know what they do? Oh, I hear them. They never shut up. <laughs> like, you have any idea what they are doing? They look very weird. And I don't understand what they're saying. <laughs> yeah, it's... It is pretty weird, if I gotta be honest. Uh, these, these people kind of just get stuck doing whatever that the large thing wants and sometimes it wants them to go running the other direction and run into that uh, big round room the one with the huge monster that I kind of killed because it attacked me uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't know I'm just supposed to guard this doorway Okay, okay, okay. Uh, can you excuse me for a second? 
I, oh, sure, go ahead. I think I left something in the previous room. I'll be right back. So there's a giant talking bird in that room. No, it's not giant. It's a uh, pretty normal size. <laughs> okay, so there's a tiny bird in that room, and it talks. And it says we cannot go on. But it also said that the Sphinx kind of controls people and they do whatever it wants. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking we have better options with the bird than with the Sphinx. Yeah. That sounds like an excellent reason not to go to the Sphinx. Yeah. Is that P silent? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a good course of action. Also, the bird sounds like a chill guy, so maybe we, instead of killing it like like we do with everything in this place, maybe we can talk to it? Be my guest. Go for it. I, I believe in your diplomacy. I'm not very charismatic, so that's... You, you, you make Do up, I have to? You make up I'll, for your lack of charisma with your brute force. I was just looking for Gore. <laughs> you know, him unable to see any of my face because he's looking down and sees my hat and the handkerchief around my mouth. <laughs> you got this. Can you at least be in the room with me? Sure. Sure. I'll be there for cool. more support. So I'm going back in. Oh, well, hello, everyone. Hi. Um, I forgot to tell you, I got a couple of friends coming with me. Y yeah. So... You know, the place is kind of dangerous, right? So I've heard. And, um, you know, like health, health is a very important part of the life, right? Um, uh, I, I don't know if I know that. Not being alive and all. Fair point. Um... Well, I am alive. <laughs> I am alive, and I was wondering if maybe you could, I don't know, um, give us permission to pass. Like, we got to keep know, going. Listen, I, I don't really have a lot of choice in this. You know, it's part of... It's out of my control, you know. When people try to cross this room, the gears spin, and I start singing, and it gets really bad for everybody. The, 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 these people have to come up and clean up the bodies. It's it's not a good time. So what you're saying is, you're gonna sing a song, and we're all probably gonna die. People get hurt, and they what? usually run away. But if they don't, then they die. Any way uh, we can, like, avoid that? That I, you know of? You can't... You plug in your ears doesn't work. You know, it just, it just vibrates inside your brain. It's... Hmm. Cool, cool. The Medusa does not want anybody... Going into our prison. Yeah. Okay, so here's Watch the out. thing. We we gotta talk to the Medusa. We kind of made a boo boo, and we gotta apologize to her. So we wanted to go this way, maybe find her. I I can't help you. 
if you come start walking towards that door the gears are gonna spin and I'm just gonna sing that's just how I work you mind if my friend takes a look he's a little bit smarter than me <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm comfortable with people poking around inside me also which one of us also I just met you, you there <laughs> why should I trust you the Medusa's been pretty good to me keeps me wound up I mean that's fair yeah that's actually fair um Okay, I got nothing. I have no reason for you to trust me. Which is precisely what you should. Um, I mean, there's a lot of people that have come into this room and just either hit you or try to go in, right? You mean like you? Kinda. I'm asking for permission. Well, some of them asked for permission too, and then when they didn't get it, they just tried anyway. Hmm. Oh, could you imagine how rude that would be? You guys yeah, seem polite, yeah, though. Yeah. Rude, rude, rude. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how big is this room? Uh, it's actually pretty large. It's uh. Right one of the larger rooms that you've seen. It's not something that you could, like, cross in one round. I mean, I was more wondering how, how much of it would be able to be covered by a silent spell. Um... Ooh, that's a interesting idea. Uh, I will. We'll just say it's about as big as the the page. It's like thirty or forty rooms ahead, so I don't want to scroll and scroll yeah. back if you don't commit to this. No, no, and just. A short version is the 20 foot radius would not be. Yeah, enough. it wouldn't cover the width or the height. Okay. Question then. Um. I'm blanking out. Okay, so question. You said that people do whatever the Sphinx tells them to do? Well, I think they just is like it like... enough that they'll do whatever you say. So there's not, like, magic stuff in it. I, mean, I can't really they just watch in that room. I just see people go into that room and come out of it. Hmm. Okay. Um, do you mind if we take a second to talk, my friends and I? By the way, um, I can't stop you. <laughs> do you do you have like a friend, like a tiny little teeny tiny bird that like goes around the maze, tries to eat people, or like invite them to dangerous rooms? No, I don't have any friends. Oh. Um. Well. Excuse us for a second, please. And I go back into the other room. Uh, this will uh, look at back at the bird and over back to the door as they shrug and follow the gore. Not that he went for far into the room, so he's just doing back like five or ten feet or something. Um, huh. 
he seems like a nice guy but like everything here we're probably gonna have to kill it if we have to go that way <laughs> But I don't, like, I don't wanna. You feel me? Like, he seems cool. Oh, I'm gonna poke my head into the room. And I'm gonna ask the bird, hey, question, if we wanted to go would you come after us or would you stay in place and do that song thingy uh you know a lot of people stop in their tracks and you know start hurting themselves or start hurting their friends it's not uh -huh, not uh -huh, a lot of uh -huh. people power through that kind of thing you know uh-huh, okay. But you don't chase them, right? Well, no one's ever gotten to the door, I guess. I don't okay. know what I'd do. Okay. Just checking, just checking. Um, We're probably going to be right back. M I'm maybe so you sorry. shouldn't Can you come us? right back. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You that seem nice. I don't want you to get hurt. Uh, yeah, you also seem nice. I don't want you to hurt us. Um, I'm going to keep talking to my friends over here for a sec. Be right back. Or not. It depends. So I was thinking... Um, maybe let's go the other way, which seems safer right now. Sure. I'll trust your opinion. Is there, like, any way to pass the other room? without being seen by everybody in it? Like maybe just a couple, or maybe no, no one? Um, I can show you that room to give you an idea. So, kind of the top of the circle rooms here. You're coming in from the right. And there's a door up there. Uh, Sphinx is probably pretty large. That is a fat cat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That is a big cat. Say kind of something sort of like that. Maybe not like directly facing you, or maybe the cat's, the sphinx is in this corner. Maybe something like that. So, like, possible, 
but difficult. Yeah, he's got a view in all of this. Yeah, and uh, relatively well lit, I assume. Uh, yes. Also, uh, you can get a glimpse. This is some kind of a different sort of sphinx than you've seen before. It is more dinosaur-like than cat-like. If that makes sense. I tried to, like, Google Dinosaur Sphinx, and it didn't have any cool pictures, so. <laughs> Um, we saw a Sphinx that I apparently labeled as Reptile Sphinx earlier, a while back. Uh, Maybe perhaps, but this is something different, even yeah, to that. Right. Huh. We can give it a try. I I still have a spell for pass without trace. So we can try to go stealthily. Go stealthily to that good night. If you want to try, I'm up for it. Yeah, what worries me is what's going to happen because the other one paralyzed us and I don't know, maybe we get maybe we get like half of the way and then we're paralyzed and we cannot go back or forward. And we don't know where those people are coming from and if there's a whole bunch of them in the next room. So what are, the, what are the things look like that's around the Sphinx? Are these just the people chanting? Yeah, kind of like generic culty figures. Is there any way that I can see if they're being like sincere about it or if they're being coerced? Uh, they seem to be pretty into it. But, uh, okay. if you want to roll, like, an insight, you could. Insight. There you are. On 16. With the distance, I don't know. Uh, yeah, they, especially, like, from behind and with the robes, you really just get the, the sense that they're worshipping this entity. And why is not really available to you at this time. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna cast Paz Without Trace. Alright. Then, just in case. And let's see it. Let's see if we can make it or if we have to engage in conversation. Maybe. <laughs> Our last resort. My, conversation. My greatest enemy. <laughs> all right. If you are all stealthing through, why don't we all roll stealth? Uh, I'm going to use a. Yes. So do we is do we get to advantage or we get? Plus you get plus bonus? ten. You get okay. plus ten. I'm going to use one my. Uh, I'm going to use my tides of chaos for this to give myself advantage on this. Okay, role. you can do that. <laughs> because I don't trust myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, oh, you not. should. Where did Morgan go? 
disappeared without a trace. The, the <laughs> dull colors on his uh, robes and what else he's wearing are actually match up pretty well with the walls in this room. <laughs> it's like more in camouflage. You just see his eyes when he opens them. You don't see the rest. Uh, so you guys slowly start moving through. And uh, it appears you make it through. Perfect. Uh, <clears throat> on the next room is much smaller by comparison, and it contains seven bird cages. Made of silver gold and latticed jade. And bird song drifts from uh, six of the seven cages. Yeah. But you do not see the things inside the cage. You see empty cages. That sounds really familiar to something we've seen earlier. Um, is there just a one exit? We went cell? back. This way. Let me check some of the basement rooms. I don't think you've necessarily been here. There was... Oh, ooh, actually. Ooh. Yeah, there was one Yeah, you one have been pretty close to here before. So if you have seen a room with seven bird cages... I don't remember the exact number, but I have something here listed as jewel bird cages that was just to the left of something labeled Red It houses. would be adjacent to... The bird that's chained to the central column of yeah. four rooms. Yep, the giant bird. Close to the key peacock. Um, Bagur, yes, something, something strikes you as off about the, the bird cages. Can you make an investigation check? Okay. Uh, here we go. Eight. Uh, you think the one that doesn't have sound coming from it is made out of different materials, and it's probably not as valuable. So it looks uh The other ones cheaper. are made out of silver and gold and jade. This other one is kind of like a black... Ebony stone kind of thing. I'm gonna turn to Athas. I kind of want to touch one of the cages. Am I still Why? grounded? Why do you want to touch one? <laughs> it okay. seems cheaper. It seems it's kind of weird, actually.
Well, I don't see anything obviously wrong with it, but it's your hand on the line. Go for it. Hmm. I'm gonna use my old hand. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you touch it, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's still cold to the touch as you would expect kind of this, uh, stonework thing to be, but nothing, you don't feel any effects. Can I put, like, one of the fingers through the bars, if they fit, to see if, like, anything... Any kind of invisible bird steps on it? Uh, this cage is actually open. It's open? But, uh... There's a, we already know there's a cage around that you cannot, like, come out after you come in. Uh, I'm just gonna put my hand in. Do you feel nothing? Whistle a little bit, like... <laughs> you still feel nothing? Okay, that was a waste of time. Um, uh, Athos, you notice on the cage that he's messing with, there appears to be an uh, engraved plate. Uh, what is that? Uh, on it are the initials M N. M I M N That's right. Well, that's not Milo, who's the asshole artist. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've gone over this before. <laughs> My memory is saying we've gone over this before. I don't think we came up with, came up with an answer then. No, uh, I don't have anything on my notes about that MN. I'm sure it's nothing. Do you see more letters on any other one besides the one I'm playing with? Uh, no, you do not see any, any plaques or anything on any of them. But as you, if you like get close and peer to them, the cages shake and swing a little bit as if the weight inside of them is being adjusted. Hmm. Uh, is there any way 
that I can like try to ID, like identify the bird or the animal inside it? Without seeing it, you would only be able to identify it through its song. And it's probably not something, especially you with your background, you would have heard about before. Yeah, I was guessing that. Uh... Is there any place where you can put like food for the birds? Or just the cage alone? Uh, it just appears to be the cages. I mean, there is enough room between the bars on the cages so you could put something, but... I'm gonna put one of my rations in it. See if they eat it. Uh, the song from inside that cage stops and you see this dried meat being picked up and uh, disappearing rather quickly. Do I get the sense it's kind of like a big bird in it? Uh, the cages aren't uh, super big. They're probably like maybe three or four feet tall and a couple feet wide. And I'm going to try to pet the bird through the through the bars. Uh, as you slowly move your finger towards um, the cage and place it in, uh, you can feel something touch it, but all of the other birds start singing what you would just think of as the wrong notes. They get a lot more discordant. And the, song and the one in is front a lot of me darker. And is the one in front of me still singing or or did it stop? Uh it stopped for a bit. Hmm. But like no reaction on me. I mean, you can you can feel crazy, like but... it its beak brush against you a little bit, but not nothing really more than that. The song from the other birds is now like just really uncomfortable, and like some of them are singing notes that are really close to each other, so it starts like buzzing in your ear. Okay, I'm gonna stop before it goes crazy. And see if they stop. Uh, it tones down, like, a little bit, but it's still... It was never what you would call a happy song, but it's... It's kind of just heavy and... Like a, a much slower song now. And like foreboding. Can I try another one of the... Of the cages? To see if the same happens? First food, then play with the bird? 
yes, pretty much um, the same thing happens. Uh, but it just gets the the peak of it is a lot um, scarier. You're, like you're starting to shuffle your feet just at the the s sounds that are coming out of the bird. It's starting to make you feel uneasy. Okay. So it's not a thing that they don't like that bird. They just don't like anybody touching the birds. Well, my job here is done. <laughs> <laughs> I annoyed a couple of birds, so I'm satisfied. Was bird chasing a common activity when you were growing up? Sorry, you cut off a little bit over here. What happened? Was bird chasing a common activity when you were growing up? Not really. I was trying to stay alive for a bit. So maybe it did happen, but I didn't see it. Or heard it. There was no reaction from the birds when I put my hand in the other cage, right? That's right. I have an idea, but I gotta have more power before I do this. So... Is there um, any exit nearby? Uh, from this room, there is a door to the south, which kind of goes into a a four-way room where that um, bird chained n into the central column uh, near the ceiling is. So we went back. Uh, we're close to the rocking horse pig thingy. Yep. Uh, I started to know why Caleb told us a map will be difficult. This is kind of a mess. Yeah, it's why I specifically try to find a program where you could, I could move the connections and boxes at will. Because if these, this stuff was difficult to move around and adjust, I probably would have thrown my hands in the air a long time ago. <laughs> Okay, so from here, we still have some time for the pass without trace, so we can go back and check the other way we didn't. You mean all the way back to the belts and walls? 
through that place with the floating floor stuff like that oh all the way back there, there was yeah. a way north yeah that's even further back we could do that yeah because i don't think there's a lot we can do about that bird Actually, look at the time, and I seem to be crashing. Do you mind if we call it here? I know it's shorter, but... Sure. Okay. Okay, I don't see an issue. Yeah. Well, have a good night, all. Okay, guys. Hope to see you next Bye. week. Yeah. Bye.